Chosen the closest for our privacy. Mm -hmm. All to get more of what we're All right, I'm an investigator. My name is Jason. I'm Detective Takis. You can call me Jason. Um, obviously, know who you are. Mm -hmm. um, before we get too far ahead of ourselves, um, I want to make sure. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Did you get that last message? Uh, yes. About from, from Pete Bravo? From Pete Bravo, yes. Yep. Um, my phone's going to be vibrating every now and then. Um, because things that are going on here are kind of constantly evolving, so I'm, I want to apologize in advance for any interruptions as a result of this. Um, so I want to explain everything to you. Um, I want to go over your charges and make sure that you understand everything that's happening. Uh, I'm gonna, I want really you to ask me some questions before I kind of get into what I want to get into to make sure that you are comfortable. Mm -hmm. um, before I can do that, um, I have to read you your rights so that you're aware of uh, what your rights are and what you what you can say and what you want to say. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to go through it line by line, and once we get done with that, um, I want you to I want to open the floor to you. You can ask me anything that you want to mm -hmm. understand things better, and then we'll go from there. Okay. okay, does that sound all right? Mm -hmm. Well, hold on one second. I want to grab uh, a piece of paper that we need, and we'll get into it. Would you like to be called Charles? Yeah. This is the form that we use. Now, I know you're an intelligent guy, mm -hmm. um, so please forgive it. It's not an insult when I ask you to do this. Just read the first line aloud so that I know you can read. Mm -hmm. And all you're going to do is, as you read these lines, just put your initials there. By putting your initials there, all you're saying is that you understand what you read. Right. Okay. Just, just read the first one aloud that you can initial after that. I have the right for another sound. Very good. All right. And the rest you can do on your own. Uh, if I talk to any police officer, anything I say can and will be used against me. I have the right to accept a lawyer before I answer any questions, and I may have a lawyer with me during questioning. I have the right to have a lawyer appointed for me if I cannot afford one before I answer any questions. I know that if I answer questions, I have the right to stop answering any time. I may stop answering questions any time if I wish to talk with a lawyer, and I may have them with me during any further questioning. I'm going to ask questions and make a statement knowing that I have these rights. I do not want to. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to well, that's up to you decide. I mean, like, 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 I know what I'm saying, what I'm doing. I do this freely and voluntarily, and I know first what promises have been made to me. Because you initial, because you signed, does not mean that the floodgates open. It basically means that you're just going. I have to play by the rules. There's certain things that I have to do, and before I can even really open up a discussion with you, we got to do that. Okay. Now, first and foremost, are you aware of what your charges are? Have they been explained to you? No. You are? Okay. Do you no. Have any? no, you're not. Okay. The charges are um, criminal attempt to commit risk of injury to a minor, criminal attempt to commit sexual assault in the second degree, and enticing a minor. Those are the three charges, okay? Uh, really, the first the first one is a misdemeanor. The last one is a misdemeanor. Uh, the most important charge, which is a felony in the state of Connecticut, the sexual assault second degree is a, is a, is a felony. That's the ser more serious side of the three, okay? And I am happy to explain to you how we arrived to these charges, okay. um, if you want me to do so. Yeah. You, start doing that. Okay. Um, you obviously arrived at a house today yeah. to meet with somebody. Right. Um, I have access and actually have on my phone when it was sent to me all of the communication between you and that individual that you were believing to be you. Okay. Believing? Right. That you were believing to be you based on your communications back and forth. Right. Um, obviously, you recall having communication with someone, right. and obviously, you did arrive at this right. predetermined destination. Right. right. Okay. Um, but based, I didn't know I did was under. Oh, so I'm thinking. Based off of. The communication between the two of you, that's how we arrive at where we are with these charges. Okay. Because of the nature of your conversation. Because the things that were said. Um, is it your understanding that you were going there to see and talk to a 13 year old? No. No. Okay. Well, that's kind of why. That's, that's, that's kind of why. Attention. Oh, I would never do that. Okay, very good. Well, that's kind of why 
you, I want you to sit down. I want to talk to you. Okay. As of right now, I, this is what I have. I have that communication. Right. Um, which at any time, if you want to see it, I can show it to you. I have that communication. I have you arriving at this house. Mm -hmm. I have the banter that occurred um, initially mm -hmm. between the two of you. Right. Um, and then obviously what happened immediately after. Sure. Right. I, I have all that. Right. Um, we have your vehicle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the vehicle is here at the police department. And we are going, that's kind of the next step in the process. We're going to decide how we're going to approach your vehicle and looking inside it and seeing what is in there. Okay. okay. That's the next step. Um, in addition to that, we have your phone. Right. And another step will be looking into the contents of your phone, apps, any communication between you and other people, this particular person that we're talking about now, um, and or any photos, things of that nature. We're going to be going through the phone. And I'll explain to how we'll arrive at that as well. So these are really the steps that are going to be taken moving forward. All right. Um, you just said that you would never do, you would never go to meet someone that age. Yeah. Uh, I want to kind of leave it to you if that's the case, and yeah. just kind of walk me through how you arrived there and, and what your intentions were. Yeah, I thought you were going to be 18. Okay. okay. And so you, you thought you were being an 18 year old? Yeah, because I was, I was downstairs on my, on my couch. Okay. I was at my eye doctor yesterday. I went to Okay. So uh, I apparently, my eye got scratched. So I can't wear my contacts, so I'm, I'm wearing these glasses. And I was downstairs having a cup of coffee, and my glasses were upstairs. And I'm looking, and he's look, you know, I'm looking. I, I thought he said 18. I swear to God. I would never, ever in my entire life meet a 13 year old. That, that, I, I could say to my own self, it's disgusting. Okay. I mean, that's okay. not, you know. Consenting adults is a different story. I would you know, know. I, I absolutely agree with you. Consenting adults. And, and, uh, and at 18 years old, obviously that's a consenting adult and something that you would feel comfortable with. Is that fair to say? What? That, is, it, is it fair it's to say? Oh, yeah, 18 or above. 18, 18 or above. Yeah, that's, right. that's something that's, that's consenting adult and they're old, old right. enough to make that decision right. and you would feel comfortable with that. And obviously a scenario like that, you would have no concern about uh, law enforcement or anything like that being involved in such a scenario, right? Well, they're, they're great people making their own decisions. Right, but so, so yeah, so there's no... Right, I would never... In a situation like that, there's no law enforcement. I would never concern. commit... I would, I would never go into the crime. Okay. Um, what... How did you get in touch with this particular person today? What, what did you... I think he got in touch with me. He, okay, well, how, how did you guys connect? What, uh, what uh, uh, an app. An app. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay. Is that something that you've used before? Yeah. It is. Okay. And, I, I mean, can you... When did you start using it? Have you had, has, has it been something that's worked for you in the sense where six months ago? How did you meet people that you want to meet? Is it, is that yeah. fair to say? Yeah. Okay. I'm saying, well, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, have you met other people utilizing this app that you've ultimately met with and, and, uh, and either had conversations with yeah, okay. or conversations with? Yeah, Okay. Okay. Um, Socially and, yeah. Okay. Um, the one, the one issue that we're, we're kind of running into right now, again, I told you that I have access to the communication, right? Yeah. And you made it very clear um, about your your feeling as far as being with someone who's, I guess, underage or a minor. Absolutely. What would you consider to be underage or a minor as far as, you know, having some type of... Anybody under 18. Any, anyone, any, anyone under 18. Yeah, yeah. That, 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 that's what. The issue that I'm having with that, and look, one of the things that I really don't want to do... Um, I don't want to get into this situation where we're doing like a tit for tat where I'm going, we're going like line by line through this whole thing. I really just want to talk to you. I don't want yeah. to, my goal is not to embarrass you or, or belittle you or, or, or do the typical cop thing that you see on TV with a little right here. I'm not, I don't want to get involved. Okay. It, it, the situation is what it is. We have arrived here and we need to deal with it now. Okay. Okay. But to maybe get past this first hurdle, to maybe allow that to happen more, mm -hmm. um, I want to read something to you. Then maybe you can explain it to me. Sure. Okay. I can, I can break it down, but I want to try to avoid that. So how do you like Grindr? 
you ask right. in the first answers. Um, they mentioned that they've been kicked off a few times, and you ask why. Right. Why have you been kicked off? They respond, simply age. Then you write back, how old are you? They respond back, swear you won't report me. You respond, of course not. I mean, you report me. People are going to report other people on that. Right, right. No, I get, I get what you're saying. Right. So he says, you swear you won't report me. And you say, of course not. I, mean, I, I wouldn't. I'm just talking. I wouldn't do that. I don't need to do that. Right. I don't want to put words in your mouth, but that's, mm -hmm. of course not. That's kind of what happened. He writes back, 13. And I can show sure, you. I can show you if you want to see. It says 13. I can't read that. Okay. But I, I thought it said 18. It says 13. Okay. And that's okay. fine. Um, and that's fine. Um, you're almost a neighbor, laugh out loud. Um, so what are you looking for here? Blah, blah, blah. And then you go into some other things, which, I, you know, again, we can, we can kind of go back to that. The one is shown having right. with, with your answer regarding, you know, the 18, because right. we just went over it. Um, if you thought they were 18, you would have no concerns. No, because I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't, some people just say they're 18 and they're not. Right. So, if you thought they were 18, and that's obviously a situation that you feel comfortable with, if you thought that read 18... I've gone as far as to ask them to their friends about something. There would be no reason for you to ask this then. Right. Are you a cop right. or involved in law enforcement? They respond back, laugh out loud, really? Mm. And you write back, got to be careful. Right. I mean, they write back, yeah, man, I get it. Mm. So, the problem you're going to have with your explanation is if you thought legitimately that the person was 18 mm -hmm. and you thought that you read the number 18 at that point from what you just said in your mind you're really alleviated of any concerns about dealing with a minor or, or anything mm -hmm. like that that's true because again people could say they're 18 and they're not but you didn't you didn't say that you just asked after finding out after the age was written which was 13 you're claiming 18 right. after that number was written yeah you move forward with some other back and forth, which I can read. I'm looking, I'm looking yeah. to get away from that. Okay. So then you clearly are right. But I do that with law enforcement or a cop. I do that with everybody. Because I, 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 I don't understand, understand why you'd be, in, be in trouble with anybody. I don't understand why you would write that or be concerned about that if, if in fact, you thought you read the number 18. It would be really that, that from what we just talked because about, that should be, is, though, you know, that should be, no, it's not. You clearly said that it was not. That 18 and above, they're, you consent, can, they're a consenting adult and there's no issues there. You clearly, you, you, you just said. As long as they're not misrepresenting. Not, not re re misrepresenting. Misrepresenting, right. Yeah. But you didn't, that's not what you wrote. That's not what no. you said. That was yeah. not a part of any of your back and forth. Your, yeah. your next step after a few back and forths is, are you a law I person or are you a cop? When I walked in, I immediately mean, was, was going to say, well, you're not 18. You're not 18. Okay. And, but I, and he asked me for to bring some... Porn and stuff like that. So I, I said, when I said I was having a good point, I was, I was, I was out of there. There was no way okay. I was going to well, get involved in that situation. In your messages, you said you were going to bring I did. It was in the car. Right. What kind of, what, what is in the car? What did you bring? It was a, a, a DVD. And what's yes. on the DVD? Porn. What, what type of gay, Just regular gay porn. Regular gay porn? Yeah. Is it underage gay porn or is it no. adult? It's adult gay porn? Uh, uh, amateur. Say, I think it was amateur stuff. It's yeah. amateur stuff. Yeah. And, but what the the people depicted on there are they of are they adults or yeah. are they yeah. underage? They're not underage. They're not underage. Yeah. Okay. I'll take it out. Okay. Um, the the problem that you're gonna have, Charles, I'm not afraid to tell you. Okay. You know, one one man to another, one person to another, mm -hmm. one adult to another, is when you read these messages and you go through them line by line very carefully and you read them. Your explanation does not match. Because if you truly believe that you are going to meet with an 18 year old person, like mm -hmm. you just said, right. there would be no second thoughts, concerns about whether or not the person that you're dealing with is law enforcement or involved in law enforcement. But you clearly, you clearly not only write, you not only ask the question, but then you kind of double tap it because you say, you got to be careful. Yeah, and because you have to be careful. I, I don't want to do anything wrong. Well, that's kind of that's kind of why we that's kind of why we're here, Charles. You, 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 I don't you, want to do anything wrong. It, well, what you wanted, what people want to do sometimes, maybe what they intend. I don't want to get crazy with that, but at the end of the day, 
you did do something wrong today. And we, and, we, and we have to deal with that. We have to deal with that. Somehow, some way, we have to deal with that. You're going to have to explain it better and or you're going to have to come to grips with the fact that you're here and this is why you're here and we got to deal with it now. you got to deal with it now. Because if you, if you choose not to, if you choose not to, you're not really... You know, a, a writer writes the story, uh, an, an artist paints the picture. Uh, in, in this scenario, I want you to tell the story. I'm a, I want you to write it. But okay. if you don't, and you, and you stick with what you're telling me, right. you're kind of forcing us as law enforcement, as the investigators, to dive into this now, to dive into your phone, to dive into your car, to dissect these messages. And then once you do that now, now you're kind of forcing us to do our jobs and force, forcing us to... You know, present these facts, okay, that maybe don't put the proper spin on the story that it needs to have, okay? Because the way we look at a lot of these cases, people will get involved in circumstances like you're in now. A lot of these people, they just need help. They have a problem. It's almost like an addiction in many ways. They're attracted to something they know is, is, is not right. They know it's not healthy. They know it's not legal. But they can't help I themselves. Can, I'm sorry, you're right now. Gentlemen, next week, you gentlemen to me. I've been telling you this I have never been with anyone that's underage, anyone that's under the age of 18. Would this have been yes. the first? Would this have been the first time? No, because he said he was 18. I, that's what I read. Okay. Well, it says it says. I know it says 13. It says Mike. I remember glasses on. Right? 13. I'm going to shut right down. with block them right down again. Okay. But then why ask if he's involved in law enforcement? Yeah, I do that all the time because I just I just because I get because I get afraid with 18 year old kids that that. They represent themselves at 18. This happened to me before. And they're, and they're not 18. Yeah, but you don't write that. You don't write, hey, look, are you sure that's your age? You don't even, you don't even question just, the, the age is written. It's not even like, are you sure? Or, or uh, I've been down this road before. Or, no, I've never been down this road. No, no, no. Whatever, whatever you want to write. I've had, people no. lie to, I've had people lie to me before. Are you sure? How do I know it? Yeah. There's nothing like that. The, the age is thrown out there. And then look, and I'll read it. I mean, this is, this is what's going to happen at the end of the day anyway. I mean, it, this is this is how it's going to be perceived. And you know, I mean, Chris Hansen is actually I know him. He's a friend of mine. I can do him on the train for years, and that's more of an embarrassment than anything. But um, so, how do you like Grimes? It's cool, but I've been kicked off a few times. Right. Why? They went back age. You respond back with, "How old are you? Swear you won't report me." Of course not, you write. Mm. They write just 13. You write back, you're almost a neighbor, laugh out loud. Mm. So what are you looking for here, you ask? Really just chatting or whatever. I like whatever, laugh out loud with one of those. Mm. They respond back with, yeah, and you respond back with, yeah. What have you done so far? I've had sex with my ex-girlfriend, nothing with a guy. You write back, gotcha, but you like guys better now. Never tried it, but being with my girlfriend was really awkward. You write back, I get it. You write back, maybe you need a good teacher. Yeah, you know one, they respond. You're talking to him, laugh out loud, you write. Laugh out loud, really? You write back simply, yes. So are you just buy or get it? School is in session, you write. More gay, but also somewhat bi. Do you watch porn, you ask? Yeah. You ask, what do you like to watch? What do you like, they ask. You respond, mostly gay porn and some bi porn. What do you want, you ask again. Sweet, I like gay porn, DP, and ATM. You ask, what's ATM? You write back, DP is so hot. Ask them out. They're explaining what AT ATM means. Right. You write back, you're getting me hard, laugh out loud. Again, you ask, what is ATM? And then it's 
back. Yes, DP is hot. They're right back. And then you respond, so do you think you're more of a on top? I don't know. I'm willing to learn. Can you get away? So do you think you're more of a on top of a glove? You do I do it by you know I get away. Yeah. So I mean I well, we're going down this road and then we get to I think I'm trying to make you know. Right. We get to the law enforcement. Are you a cop or involved in law enforcement? If you think you're talking to an eighteen year old person, why That's are you asking that? that? Why are you at, why but why? Why would you ask that? I, I, I watch TV. Yeah, but what, what's what's to be concerned about what, what is the issue if it's an eighteen year old person? Like you said it's a consenting adult, well, would you, why would no. you even be concerned about that? Because it's I'm super careful. That's all. And I would never I would never be really that careful to me, right? I mean, that's not I have I, I have you know, I have I can show you I, that I was at my ophthalmologist yesterday, an eye doctor that I had a scratch on my eye as to why I'm on these glasses and why I didn't see that correctly. But you can, I mean, you, you would never find anything like that uh, in a conversation with a 13 year old on my phone. Ever. You understand that by reading this, that's not how this reads. It's clearly in their well, experience. It's clearly in their 13. You're not, you don't, you don't even. You, I didn't respond to this. I didn't read it. As soon as it's written 13, you just continue on with with Warren to me and talk about what you yeah. want to do and what he likes and what you like. You just you go right. You go right past it. I thought 18, I just have to keep talking. I mean, then, 13, I'd be gone. And then as you get close to the part where we're going to start meeting and, and it's starting to get maybe a little bit more real, we get to, are you law enforcement? Are you a cop? Yeah. And I've seen Chris's show before, so I, I understand you've seen Chris's show before. Yeah. Unfortunately, this is this is the way this is played out, and you're here, and you're being charged with these things, mm. and you arrive at this person's house, and you never at any point in time question the age or the number after I was the actor was sent to you. That's why I and you just was no, we, uh, since I saw him, I was leaving. He did not look even 18. You didn't leave after me. You didn't, leave, you didn't leave immediately, immediately upon my house. That's not how it happened. I, I know, you left, you left, left, left after some brief he said conversation. You, you bring the porn. I said, yes, it's not my car. I was going to get it in my car and go. Right. Yeah. Which, what you need to understand is I, I maybe, maybe you don't realize it, but I know more than you think I know. I was at the house. I, I was there. I got in the car with you. Right. I watched everything as it unfolded. I watched you pull up to the house. Okay. I watched you get out of the car. I watched you walk into the house. I watched you make conversation with this boy who clearly does not look like he's 18 years old. As you just said, that he does not look like he's 18 right. years old. Right, that was not doing it. And I watched you make conversation with him. And I watched you talk to him. And what you're not, I don't want to call you a liar. I don't want to get into that. I don't want to get into that. But anything sexual or anything like that. I don't, want, I don't want to get into like this thing where you're, but the, you did an about face upon seeing Chris Hansen, not before. You, did, you didn't do an about face I you saw him. When he asked me about the porn, you guys I was going to go, you guys were going to, you guys, as soon as he asked me about the porn, and, talk and, and what have you. That's not true. That's not true. Well, as soon as he asked me about the, the, the porn, I said I was going to, I was going to go and get it. That's when Chris walked into the room, and I was going to turn myself around and get, walk right up. You saw Chris turn around and you, and you walked out. Well, yeah, I had the water, but I was going to, well, he, he gave me the water, he asked me about the porn, and I said, okay, I'm going to go, I'm going to go out. It's the left of the car, I'm going to look at it. And that's when Chris, as I was turning, Chris, that's when Chris walked into the room. If this is all just a, a big mistake, a yes. big misunderstanding, why, why, why go out the door? Why not, you know Chris, why not, why not address it? Why not say, hey, wait a minute, whoa, time out. I thought there's, it was about there's no, there's I thought no, there's I no, there's 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 no, you know, I'm a, I'm a good guy. I, you know, I support the police union. I know a lot of cops. I look fire guys. And this is not, you, this is, you, I'm not who you think you're looking at. That sounds like. Here's the thing. I don't want there to be any misconceptions, okay? People make, state, make mistakes every day on many levels. Yeah, that, yeah, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. mistake. But I, think I, that, I, think that's, I think that's what you made today. But here's the problem. Moving forward, okay? 
moving forward from today, okay, you need to deal with this. And the, and the way that you're choosing to deal with it is not, is not, is not meeting it head on. It's not taking care of the problem. It's not addressing the problem. If I it's, need to, it's throwing a blanket over the problem. If I need to do something about it, I will. And that's not helping you. Well, then I will. If you I will. If, if I will get therapy. If, if, you need. Need, if you need to do something about right. it. Yeah. You don't, you don't think it's fair I don't know. I have to be evaluated. You don't mm -hmm. think it's fair to say that maybe you do have a problem that should be addressed? I don't just, know. Just for your own well-being and obviously I, the well-being of others. I'll, I'll get evaluated. I'll let a professional decide that. I mean, because at the end of the day, I'm a good guy. I'm not, I, I'm not saying I'm not. No, no one's saying I'm a good guy. You, you, you came in here with the cuffs off because you're good. I haven't done anything wrong. I have not violated the law at any time in my life, especially with regard to this. It wouldn't. It's against my beliefs. It's against a whole lot of reasons. Okay. I swear that's, that's, that's my, uh, my, my life. When you were slid over into the seat by the officers that took you into custody, yeah. and then I sat down next to you, right. before I could introduce myself, before I could say a word. Do you remember what you said to me? Is this going to be like going to be on TV? Something like that? That wasn't the first thing. I want you to think about sitting in the car, sliding over. What was the first thing that you remember saying to me? In the cups, sir? Imagine with me. You looked right at me and you said, I was going to tell the reason I came was going to tell this boy he shouldn't be doing this. I came here yeah, to tell him. Yeah. No, you said, I came here to tell this boy that he shouldn't be doing this. Yeah. So if you thought you were going to be an 18 year old boy, even an 18, for a consensual encounter, which you feel is totally okay, which in the grand scheme of things, based on legality, it is. But if that's the case, then what are you coming there for to tell a boy after having a conversation that you had that he shouldn't be doing this, if that's your goal? It doesn't make any sense. If you thought you were, oh. meeting, if you thought you were meeting an 18-year-old boy for a consensual encounter because you misread yeah. the number, right. it doesn't make sense with your point of, still I, I, came, I came here to tell him that he, still should be that he shouldn't be doing this. He still should be doing this. He used to represent his parents and was away for the weekend and, and you know, he was having people over with him. Do you see do you see how this is playing out? Do you see how this is the direction this is going? Do you see? I mean you've been charged, you're here, the things that you've said and you know, the, the, some of the sense of that it's making and not making, I mean, can you see that? Mm -hmm. Through through the blur of all this, can you see it? I can see what you know, the circumstance. But I, uh, in terms of execution, never. Never. Never have never will. As I explained to you, some of the next steps involved are going through your car and going through your phone. Your car is here. There's a couple different ways that we can do that. Okay? There's nothing in my car. We put, we put all this together mm -hmm. and we apply for a, a search and seizure warrant, which is a piece of, a piece of paper that gets signed by a judge that allows us to go through the car and search it and seize anything that may pertain to the charges that you would be that you're dealing with today. The other way to go about it is to ask you man to man. You've indicated that there's nothing in the car that you have to worry about hiding. Is to have a bit of a form that's called a consent to search form. You sign the consent to search form, we go through the car, we finally find it, there's nothing in there like you say. Nothing gets seized. Mm -hmm. If there isn't, is stuff in there, we'll call it quote unquote evidence of these crimes, then we would seize it. Okay. Yeah. If you're interested in, in signing that form and going about that that way, because you obviously indicated that you feel like you've done nothing wrong, right. and if there's nothing in the car that you have to be concerned with, Correct. Um, if that's the case, that's the way that you could go, or you could choose and we can get a search warrant. But if you wanted to, if you wanted to consent to search, yeah. I mean, you've been a gentleman, I figure I'd offer you that opportunity. Yeah. Okay. So 
so I can get that. Yeah. The phone, because that's a little more involved, it involves, uh, I'm going to call it the technology to get into it and do things to it, and we have to hold on to it for a period of time. That we have to do a search warrant for, because that's not a quick process. It has yeah. to go to someone who knows how to, you know, quote unquote, do that stuff. That's not business. I know. Really I, work. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I wish I had a better answer for you related to that, but the phone is going to stay with us until that, that process takes place. Um, we can do it as fast as we can, um, but again, that's not something that's done you know, very quickly. There's, you know, phones can take a little bit to go through. There's a lot of apps to go through, there's communications to go through, you know, there's stuff in the phone that gets deleted that you know, people think is deleted, but it, you know, in many cases it's still there in some capacity and we're able to extract it. Hmm. So because of the nature of that, a search warrant has to be applied for that. But a car is a relatively easy thing. You open up the doors, you know, you the seat, that kind of thing. Is there any questions about any of this before I go retrieve that form that you want to iron out with me? Something maybe that you yeah. want to try to explain yeah. differently or something that I said that maybe you want to respond to or, you know, I know, read you some things. Is there something in there that maybe you want me to refer back to to, to read to you or whatever? Yeah. I mean, is there anything at all that you want to talk about like that? Because I'm happy to do it. Look, I don't want, look, this is an adversarial. I'm not... Yeah. I, I'm not looking down at you. I don't think that you're a bad person. I, I, I really don't. And at the end of the day, I'm doing a job. My job is to investigate this, mm-hmm. apply the applicable charges that that, uh, that work based on what's happened, um, and write a report on it, and it gets submitted to a judge. And yeah. what's the process now? After this, um, you've been charged. Uh, while you're here, um, a bond has to be determined. And the bond gets determined by uh, the ship commander downstairs based on all that we have. Um, and there are a lot of factors now. Are you are you a resident? Are you someone that's from yeah. out of town? Do you have prior records? There's a lot that comes into that. The nature of the offense, the nature of the investigation, um, all that plays a role. When that number gets determined, we tell you what that number is. We allow you to make a call in an effort to get out of here, which is whatever ultimately yeah. has to do, right? right? So you'll be afforded a phone call to address whatever the bond situation is, if you want to call someone to help you with that, if you want to call a bonds person, however you choose to go about that. So you can start thinking about that now. That would be the next step. If you're un- unable to make bond, okay, um, what we have today is presented, it's called a probable cause hearing. A judge reviews you know, what we have, and they decide, do we have enough to hold you? And if so, if, that, if it is decided that we have enough to hold you, then you would stay here for the remainder of the weekend and go to court first thing Monday morning, because that's the next day the court's in session on the weekend right now. Mm-hmm. We don't have a night court or weekend court, so we have to wait till Monday. So if you're not released, you'd remain here, you'd go to court first thing Monday morning, you get arraigned, um, and at that point the judge can decide to lower the bond, raise the bond, get rid of the bond completely. Um, typically a public defender is available at that time unless you have an attorney that you can call right away and have handle that part of it for you if you want, but typically a public defender handles that first portion of it, the arraignment, and then from there it gets decided, you know, by you. So much for the bond rate? Mm-hmm. I honestly don't know. I don't want to misspeak on it. I don't mm-hmm. want to shoot high or shoot low and be wrong as soon as we know the exact number of it. Okay. So why don't you sit here for one moment, click your thoughts, I'm going to grab that form, explain it to you, we'll fill it out, and then yeah, we'll do the car. And then we'll, I'll get you downstairs and we can start the bond part of it. We can get that figured out. You have to be interviewed for that. You know, the the uh, ship commander sits down with you, asks you some questions. That's all, all part of the interview. But do you think I'm going to be able to get out of here? Um, is, if you're able to make bond, as soon as you're able to make that happen, okay. as soon as someone can come down here with the money required, they sign off on it, you're out of here. Okay? Just hang with you. Mm-hmm. Can I get a little water? Uh, when we get downstairs, uh, we'll do it then, okay? Charles, this is Detective Uri. Hello. Hi. Uh, she's just going to come in and witness the consent. That's all. Right. So we need two people for that. So we're going to search uh, your, your vehicle. It's 2014 Jeep Wrangler Red, right? Yeah. And do you know your plate number? Can I get red? 6AFTJ5. Yeah. That's right. Okay. And we're just going to search the vehicle, and that's it. Yeah. Um, why don't you just do me a favor and read this down here first for me, please? And then if you decide to do so, you sign that.
Uh, one thing I just want to confirm with you is um, we have a couple of addresses for you. We have some uh, call history at uh, Banks North, and then we also so have yeah. so that. So where's your current address now? Same on the same one, 8 plus plus place. You said? Plus. 8, P-L-E-S-Z-K-O. And where are we going? You know, it's freezing up this borough. Yeah. We're addressing the borough. So they tell us. Okay. And what was the final year of uh, school you attended? Uh, I guess it was the third year. Care of. We're going to take care of this as soon as we can to get this done. Mm -hmm. uh, if the vehicle gets moved off site and put somewhere for any reason, we'll let you know. Um, a lot of that's going to depend on whether or not you need bond and what have you. If you're going to be staying here, uh, typically what we've been doing is we have the cars towed off site so they're somewhere safe and secure and you can get them later. If, you get, if, you're, if it appears that you're going to be getting bonded up and the car will remain here, then you'll probably be able to take that home, depending on what we find and what have you. Um, my cooperation. Your, your cooperation plays a major role in, uh, in the setting of the bond, Mr. Best, because I'll be one of the people who you're going to hear us from one of the first things I tell the, the sergeant downstairs. Um, so with that, um, is there anything else that you want to address? Um, now is kind of a good time to do it, uh, kind of a good time to get it out if you want to, you know, is relating to, A, the messages I read to you, relating to the situation as a whole. Is there anything that you feel like that you haven't said or maybe a question that I haven't asked that you want? You know, out there that you know I should know. No, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Okay. Can you see? Um, can you see how we arrived? Yeah, I can see how I can to where we are. Yeah, I can you see. Can that. You understand it, and you can see that. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, you know, the way it can be read and the way it can be taken. Yes. Okay. But, uh, all right. Sorry, and you was not my attention. And you promise that. Um, and you promise that uh, at some point you'll go speak with a professional who will evaluate yes. this. And in the event that there's an issue that you need to address, yes, that you will do that. Yeah. Because um, you know, I'm not, I'm not an expert as it, but in law enforcement, you kind of train train in a lot of different areas, as maybe you would know. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, that would be my advice to anyone that's a road that you should consider going down, based on the way that this is kind of played out and. The information that we have access to, I think, is something you should strongly consider. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. So I'm going to walk you down, and we're uh, going to move on to the next thing. Can I get my button back? Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Well, it may not have uh, the drawstring there like we talked about. Oh, we yeah. But we're going to go back downstairs where we can't where we can't go. Uh, 